you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Magicano. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay. How's that? Is that good? Is that good? Okay, it's good. Oh, okay. What? Okay. <clears throat> hey! Hey, 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 hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Well, that's a good start. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Or is it Sayuri? Sayuri. Um, Sayori? No, Sayori. Uh, you know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Yeah, I know some people like that. Stay out of my house. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayuri... Sayuri catch up to me. I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Magicano. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. It's not like I like you or anything. By the way, nice sweater. Hi, mean, girl. Mean, girl. Uh, fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Magicano, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining joining any club. Oh, that was me. I told you already. I'm not interested in joining any clubs. Nah. Meh. Yeah. Um, I haven't decided. I haven't been looking either. Decided. Wow. Let me just read whatever I want. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Wow, that's, uh, good friends, right? Uh, Sayuri looks... Sayuri likes to worry a little too much about me. But I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average. Yeah, just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh my god, yes. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before co- Who- Who are you again? Your happiness is really important to me, you know? It's not like I like you or anything. And you know- And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? With a face like that, I would- I- Mm. Don't make me don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. Jeez, stop nagging. I'll look at a few clubs that are, if it makes you happy. Alright, get off my back. No promises though, alright? Will you at least promise me you'll try a little I just what did I just say? What did I j what did I what did I just say? What did I just mm. Whatever, yeah, I guess I'll promise you that, dismissively. Y yay Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? 
More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I mean, I guess seeing her... I... I... I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little bit. Mm. <laughs> mm. Even... Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary never, as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Yeah, that's a typical school classroom. With windows, though? And a chalkboard? And a little yellow spongy thing that I can't quite make out? Possibly sponge? That's... It's a maybe sponge. Let me tell you the backstory about maybe sponge. Maybe Sponge grew up on a navy base. <laughs> clubs, clubs. Sayori, want, Sayori wants me to check out. This this girl wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Yeah, no choice at all. So sacrifice I'll have to make. Hello, Sayori. So Yuri must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. So she must. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I, th I thought I'd catch you out of the classroom, but I saw you were just sitting here and spacing out. So I came in. Honestly. You're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club, alright? Just chill. Just go, I'll, uh, uh, get off my... Uh. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, you could come to my club. Sayori. 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 This chick. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Yeah, meanie. It's not like I wanted you to come to my, my club or any... <sighs> Sayuri is the vice president of the literature club. Not, not that I was ever aware... <laughs> not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to to help start a new club. Ugh. Just, that, just love literature. Since she was mm, since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Peace. Deuces. I'm outie. Nine pals. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyways? Man, she is pushy. Mm. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Well, oh, <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Tell, I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have all planned all this out. As to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <clears throat> little, little cough. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I, did, I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being, gen being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Uh, Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. <laughs> Mina! The new member is here! I, I'm so sorry. I want to cry a little. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh. I glance around the room. 
Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. So you were young, says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Magicano. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the Literature Club. Thank you, girl number three. Um, I mean... All words escape me in this situation. In this club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Oh, t t sorry. G g come in. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. 